Hi, my name is Moses Musa Jabatis. I am the parliamentary representative for Buford North. I'm also the chairman of the St. Lucia Labour Party and former minister with responsibility for fisheries. As we know, it's Fisherman's Fist. And on behalf of the leader of the St. Lucia Labour Party and the members of the St. Lucia Labour Party, I wish all fishers, tout pêche, fami pêche, and all fisher folk in St. Lucia, happy Fisherman's Fist 2018. I wish you well and I wish your family well. Bon fête tout pêche, qu'on save ça c'est un temps que tout pêche qu'on a un bon temps, qu'on a un déjà outé, avec qu'on a vint ensemble pour parler en les affaires qui a affecté la pêche, bagay qui a affecté le pêche, qu'on a eu la messe, ça c'est un temps qui est bien important pour que le pays a catché les difficultés pêche qu'on a eu en la vie, and for us to to reflect on the sacrifices that fishers and their families make. I wish the fishers of Viewford North, Peche Palmis, the fishers of Savans, Peche Kika Ale Lame Ovan, Evek Osi Peche Kika Ale Lame Aponna and Viewford. I wish all fishers of Viewford, St. Lucia, Schwozel, Grosile, um, Miku, Tupatu, Oluwa Pei St. Lisi, Nuka Swete Wu, a Bola Fet Peche. Mais nous savons que Fisherman's Fist l'année 2018, we know that it brings with it a lot of difficulties for fishers. Number one, we know that the sagasum seaweed, kalte wa wetla kinia buizan, kaba wan shaitwaka. And we also know that this year we have an invasion of the, 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 the Prale landing site. The Savants Bay landing site, Miku, Denry, Viewfort, and so many other parts of St. Lucia where this sagasum seaweed is causing a major problem for fishers. And we know that the stench of the decaying sagasum seaweed is problematic not only for fishers who go out with their boats, but also the communities. And people are very worried about the effect of the sagasum seaweed. We also know that it is difficult for fishers to cope with the kind of expense that they have to put out for gas. Logging 15 abrisant a tank gas, a 15 gallon gas. Ou ka pe a chai pli l'argent paske za fe gas tax la. The 150 in gas taxes is really squeezing our fishers. We know that fishers who go out to sea to do pelagic fishing pour kika langwa d'or ka pay an ho 12 mil dollar par l'année parce que gouvernement me za fe gas tax sala. Ek nou sa pêche ki ka le pli pre de the fishers who do reef fishing and so on spend over 6,000 dollars in gas taxes. That must be difficult for the fishers. And that is something that is preventing them from taking more money to their families and from having more money in their pockets. We also know that the fishers have difficulty understanding why the government wants to take away their rebate. When we were in government, we increased the fuel rebate by 100%. Like nous savons, en fait, pêcher ça la l'année, ça, nous avons catché les, qui ça qui a arrivé rebate tout. And we also know that you are worried because the government has indicated that they will possibly give over the fisheries complexes to a foreign private business to manage for profit. And we know you are worried about what will happen to you when the fisheries complexes are given over to five private foreign interests who profit for your fair profit. I know that many of you have difficulties, but I want to encourage you and tell you that you need to stick together in cooperatives, strengthen your cooperatives, your fisher folk association, the National F Fisher Folk Organization, the Viewford Fisheries Cooperative and, and Miku and Denry. All of you should, should stick together. That's the only way you can save your rebate. 
And that's the only way you can cause them to listen to you when you talk about the 150 in the fuel tax for gas for fishers that you need a brick also. And the only way you can achieve this is if you stick together and strengthen your cooperatives. We also know that there are lots of fishers who have lost loved ones out in the open ocean. And we continue to pray that you get comfort in your hearts. Nous avons des gouvernements pour aider ces familles, ces pêcheurs qui étaient perdus et qui morts, and their, their bodies are still in Puerto Rico. And we are asking, we are hoping that those families can get the bodies of their loved ones, that they can get assistance. Those fishers from Viewfort, whose bodies are out there in Puerto Rico, we are hoping that the families can return the bodies home and have a proper burial. But the St. Lucia Labour Party continues to support fishers and to support the fishing sector in St. Lucia. You may recall say Labour Party ki, ki bati say go fisheries complex last at least the fisheries complex in Viewfort and others. It is the Labour Party that increased the fuel rebate by a hundred percent. And we are the ones who introduced fads so that fishers, instead of spending a lot of money in fuel to go out way out all the time, they can fish in, in areas that are closer to shore. The St. Lucia Labour Party spent $14 million out of a grant from the Japanese government in our last term to improve the facilities in Viewfort, in Denry, in Ancillary, in Grosile. And we continue to believe that the fisheries subsector can play a very important role in sustainable development and also in the economy of the villages where the fishers come from. And so we continue to see that all governments must play an active role in the fisheries subsector, give the sector support. Alo Peshek a mené a ho 25 million dollars a economy a tous les années. L'année là il a trop pli ho passé ça. Cosa Peshek a fait a bon contribution ba economy pays cet ici. And we must take note of that. So, we want to tell you to have a good fisherman's fist. Nous savons la difficulté. Et nous savons ça. Nous nous voulons dire que loi qui nous passe à l'année um, 2014, in April 2014, we passed the Agriculture and Fisheries Incentives Act to give you tax holidays and also to ensure that you get the, the incentives that are due to you that they were placed into law. Nous faisons ça, pas pour pêcher seulement, pour jean agricole, pour pharma, vie et jeune 100% à la FARO, et aussi, même si vous êtes un pêcher, ou tout ça jeune 100% pour guerre machine, 100% duty free. Nous mettons ça en loi, bagaille comme ça nous fait, pour assurer qui, moun qui a la pêche, moun qui a 20 poissons, avec bagaille comme ça, jouent si pour le gouvernement. Comme ça, nous savons about la pêche. Nous savons qu'on parti qui manière pour pousser les affaires pêcher du vent. Malheureusement, nous savons ces jours-là. Nous n'avons pas ni l'argent. Et c'est quand on pêche pêcher qui a parti tout partout où on paye cette liste. J'ai dit que mon père a passé 20 kawang parce que c'est la difficile. Mais on behalf of the Labour Party, I want to tell you, hold strong. Develop your cooperatives and stay strong. Because at the end of the day, that is what will see you through. So on behalf of the St. Lucia Labour Party, on behalf of the political leader, Honorable Philip J. Pierre, I wish all fishers a happy fisherman's peace. Ni un bon temps. Allez l'église avant. Moi, ça, c'est ça, toujours qu'à fait. Oui, merci, bon Dieu. Avec ni un bon temps. Avec ou qu'à ouais, moi, à dans ou qu'à ouais, moi, n'aille pas à ces places-là pour nous ni un petit parole. But I want you to have a happy fisherman's peace. And may God bless you. And the St. Lucia Labour Party continues to support fishers. We continue to do the best that we can to ensure that you have a wonderful life for you and your family. Happy Fisherman's Fist.